as you might know, uh, Llama uh, is 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 really at the forefront in terms of popularity for open source models, right? They have big models, they have small models, they have models for PCs, they have models for phones. <laughs> and uh, what we've seen a lot of companies do all the way from the big cloud companies to IBM to the on-prem folks is they are using these open source Llama models to be able to power their own customers' uh, AI. And one of the things that Meta did not allow was this to be used uh, for any military or military type uh, contractors. But uh, I wrote a, a piece on Forbes uh, that, that showed, hey, they are now enabling that and aligning with some people that, that, that you might know. And one of the biggest reasons I think that that the U.S. government is getting around this is given the Chinese government uh, 1.4 trillion dollar uh, master plan uh, for for AI. That that literally, um, and this is not I'm not making this up, but from autonomous driving to automated factories to mass surveillance, and you can imagine that this would make it into the uh, Chinese uh, military uh, complex. So anyways, uh, in alignment with Accenture, AWS, Anduril, Booz Allen, Databricks, Deloitte, IBM, Lidois, Lockheed Martin, Microsoft, Oracle, Palantir, Scale AI, and Snowflake, uh, they are all in uh, on this. And what I, what I liked about, don't yawn at me. Telling you one. It's been a long day, man. <laughs> no, I hear you. No, what I really appreciated about this announcement, it just wasn't like, hey, let's throw the technology out there. They outlined like Oracle, uh, talking about airline, uh, streamlined, air, air, uh, streamlined aircraft maintenance. And by the way, as you and I were sitting at the uh, big uh, uh, Oracle world, uh, Oracle's first customer was the CIA. Uh, scale AI, mission-specific enhancements. They're all part of the robotic, Army's robotic combat vehicle program. Lockheed Martin, I mean, come on. F-35, F F-22, F-18, F-16. It uh, is, 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 is crazy. Um, Amazon Web Services, right? Azure, DOD Impact uh, Level uh, 4 and 5. Um, it, it's just, it goes on and on. IBM Watson X, U.S. State Department, where they're actually working with UNESCO uh, to uh, for improved societal uh, development. Meta has this thing called No Language Left Behind AI Model that uh, translates uh, 200 different languages, even those ones in kind of low-resourced and, and marginalized uh, zones. So... Anyways, I feel safer because of this, and hopefully you do too. But it also, you know, to are you, being, are you serious? Or are you being funny? No, I'm totally serious. Okay, I am totally serious. You're a buyer, you're into this. Well, I am because I mean, you know how long? Uh, you remember when Google wouldn't do anything uh, in the military, and you know, and, and protesters now. These tech companies are, are realizing that that doing things that protect the United States of America is not a bad thing. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. It, look, it's good. I, I, I'll i kind of give you a two side to this one. I don't have as much depth on this. I didn't write anything up on it. I just kind of read it. I've got this sort of meta as a company that historically kind of uses data in really interesting ways. You can argue about privacy and rights protections, how it gets, um, they've been an absolute leader in open sourcing the future of AI. Like so much credit to Meta with what they've done with Llama. Yeah. But I just kind of look at, like I always think of companies that are good for defense as companies that are sort of very, you know, trusted in their nature. Meta does not feel to me that way in, in <laughs> their sort of natural posture. They're kind of, 
data for advertising. Having said that, I mean, I love diversification. I love the story. We all know what's going on with Doge. I, I had to make a Doge joke, but the Department of Government Efficiency, we'll move into that here in a minute. But um, a lot of those contractors you named got clobbered in the market with Vivek and, and um, Elon looking to take trillions of spend out. And this is one of the areas. It's kind of these interesting forces all going on because, uh, I'll sh like I said, I'll, I'll hold my thoughts because we're going to talk about Trump and what it's going to mean here in a minute. But um, look, I think I think Meta has been breakthrough for open sourcing, Gen AI, making it available, making so much possible. I just have an interesting sort of reaction to the idea of them data privacy and kind of being involved in national security. So this is gonna be an interesting one to kind of see. But I mean, look, the reaction of all those contractors reads a heck of a lot more than what I say. I, uh, they're the ones that write the checks and, and do the implementation. So this is good, I mean, it's good progress. And like I said, in this case, Meta has been the, uh, I think they've been the protagonist in, in at least generative AI and, and open sourcing and making this possible. So credit to them in that 